Within Her Eyes is inspired by a stage show made in 2012 called There We Have Been. There We Have Been is a short and very emotive 17 minute duet where the female dancer never once touches the floor. I've always wanted to make it into a film because I really feel that a film could heighten the emotion of the work and give the audiences a perspective that they don't get from the stage production. For me, the dance work is about two people's friendship growing out of a grief-stricken situation and the journey of them becoming closer and falling in love over time. However, all the while they're unable to give in to those feelings due to the awareness they have um, on the past which they don't feel that they can betray. In the original creation process for There We've Been, I went in with a very uh, clear idea of the narrative that I wanted to portray. And I then worked very collaboratively with my two dancers. Um, we just played and researched and improvised and tried things out for about a week and a half. Um, we filmed everything and then watched it back and I selected the moments that um, I felt were working um, or tweaked the task to try and push the material in a more interesting and unique uh, way. When it came to creating the film, I worked very closely with the director and director of photography from scratch um, and we talked a lot about how best to translate that stage show and the choreography uh, into dance film. I set the physical restriction of keeping Lisa off the floor from the very start which gave us a very very clear uh, physical boundary to work with. That was really great but it also caused quite a lot of problems because it meant uh, we could only work for very short periods of time. But gradually we were able to build these short sections uh, from the improvisations together to string together longer sequences. And we went from thinking we could do a maximum of 10 minutes um, to pushing that to 12 minutes and then ultimately to 15 minutes. Uh, all the while we were continuing to develop the relationship and work building these characters with the dancers as well to hopefully uh, in the finished product have a piece that is both uh, physically exciting and dramatic to watch but also very uh, emotionally charged as well. We used a range of quite static partnering and at times classical holes but uh, more of a new centre-centre contact and also really using uh, weight and momentum to create a real sense of flow within the choreography. Now, one thing I was very clear on was that I didn't want the female dancer just to be manipulated like a doll. Uh, she's actually the one who directs and dictates everything within the choreography, with the male dancer just responding to her needs. I wanted the film to reflect the very tense and delicate mood and atmosphere that the stage show evokes, and to also highlight the emotional journey of the characters, um, and give this sense of them being isolated in their own world. So we looked for landscapes that felt very bare and open and vast as well. Another desire for the locations was that they would uh, help reflect and develop the relationship of the characters. Uh, starting from very open and isolated locations, moving into more intimate locations like the forest where they're surrounded by the trees or into the field where the grass is around them. Uh, so the locations really ha reflect the progression of the relationship becoming more and more intimate. When shooting within her eyes, we only used natural light, so uh, we were very reliant on the Welsh weather and what it was giving us that weekend. Uh, luckily for us, the majority of the weekend it was quite grey, which did make filming a bit miserable, but um, it was perfect in terms of the uh, atmosphere that we wanted uh, to create for the film. Uh, in post-production we kind of helped it further, giving um, it a slightly dark undertone, keeping it natural but um, aiding the sombre mood of the piece. The costumes were selected for a number of reasons. The first uh, was to reflect the characters. So for example, Lisa's character is very vulnerable and fragile and conservative. So we looked for a shirt that was very thin and uh, delicate, but also we buttoned it up to the top, giving her a conservative feel. Uh, the second element was to make sure that the costumes uh, fitted within the setting of the work. So we made sure we had a colour palette that fitted the environment. Uh, and thirdly, we wanted to reflect the relationship, uh, him being the strong support always underneath and her the 
um, being supported by him. So his colours were dark um, and earthy, um, and hers were much lighter, linking her to the heavens. I wanted the accompaniment to help with the uh, atmosphere and the dark mood of the piece, um, for it to help create tension, but also for it to be very delicate to reflect the relationship. Um, so I talked to Seymour about the, how we could do this, and we decided on um, a sound score that would use both strings and piano. The strings are very emotive and moving, whereas the piano has a much more fragile and delicate quality. So combining the two elements uh, with electronic sound as well, we uh, created a score that, for me, really fits the emotion of the work. The structure of Within Her Eyes follows one continuous narrative line, giving the sense of an ever-changing journey. The piece is divided into seven sections. The first, a prologue, where we see uh, Lisa on her own, looking very lost and alone. And then, from then on, the dancers are together, uh, getting closer and closer throughout each section. In the first section, they're as far apart as they can be whilst maintaining contact, and then building all the way up until the last section, where they're as close uh, and as intertwined as they can be. When watching Within Her Eyes, I hope people almost forget about the physicality and just connect these two people and their story. At the heart of it is a love story. It's a story about these two people who can't or won't allow themselves to love each other. I think it's such a beautiful journey that they go on and I hope people uh, can feel free to interpret it in any way they want and connect to it on a personal level.